Outlander is back and in today's episode I'm going to be talking all about it, the new season and the trailer. That's coming right up after this. How are you doing? Welcome to today's episode of the vlog. My name is Sean and I'm a YouTuber from Edinburgh in Scotland. It is great to have you all here. Thank you so much for joining in. And if you're new, please do not forget to hit the red subscribe button down below so you can join the family. As we go forward talking all things Scottish related, connecting, and especially in today's video, connecting the cultures between North America and Scotland and the Scottish diaspora around the world because we Scottish people were travellers. We left Scotland and we went everywhere and that's very much related to Outlander. And we are just around the corner from season five launching, literally I think five weeks from today, five weeks from today exactly, you'll be able to see Outlander season five, the launch of episode one. Very exciting. And I wanted to say, first of all, before we get into the review of the trailer, which I'm about to do right here in today's episode, I need to discuss Outlander because there's gonna be a lot of people coming here to this video and not really sure what it is, a lot of new people especially, but I want to tell you why Outlander has been such a revelation for me, for my channel, for my connection with Scotland, for the audience, and for people around the world getting connected to Scotland. It has been something absolutely amazing, a movement almost. Thanks to this amazing show, which was written by an American, Diana Gabaldon. She wrote the books for which the TV show is based off. And just as a quick aside, if you want to watch Outlander and catch up, it's available on Netflix, I think, around the world. It is available on Amazon Prime and also stars in the United States. Why do I talk about Outlander so much and why is it important? Let me talk about that first of all because this is really the crux of the matter, right? Through Outlander, I learned about the Highland way of life way back before modern Scotland really existed. Scotland was a very different place three, four, five hundred years ago. The Highlander way of life was pretty much predominant. Unlike nowadays, the Highlands had a very large population and Outlander focuses on that population, those people and what they did, as well as, very predominantly, the Jacobite cause, what that was all about. I knew none of this before I watched Outlander, which is quite shameful. Showcasing great Scottish scenery, Outlander was amazing because it filmed in Scotland, in the environment. Basically, they used a lot of real filming locations throughout Scotland, right? And these were a lot of places I, some of them I had been to before, but a lot of them I had never been to before. So I have literally discovered Scotland by going to these places thanks to watching Outlander. So it's amazing that the whole production, rather than filming somewhere else around the world like most productions like that usually do, they actually chose to film in Scotland, which, incredible. Meanwhile, it's also been incredible for putting Scotland on the map. Scotland had been going through a little bit of a dry period, I would say, but... When Outlander came along, and a number of other factors, but as Outlander came along, Scotland has received this kind of boom in tourism. People come into Scotland to discover all the filming locations that I just talked about. It has exploded. Tourism numbers are through the roof, and especially Outlander locations and the towns around them, they are seeing increases in tourism by numbers of hundreds of percent, which is absolutely sensational and amazing for Scotland. We needed it. The economy needs it. And I'm very, very happy to be seeing so many people from around the world visiting Scotland, and it's thanks to Outlander. It has also taught me about the cultural ties between Scotland, Scottish people, and people from the Americas in general, mostly because a lot of Scottish people emigrated, and that's why if you go to Canada, if you go to the United States of America, you'll see so many people, and probably a lot of you guys watching as well will have Scottish surnames. And the reason you guys have Scottish names is basically told in the story of Outlander. And I learned about that thanks to the show and the books. And then like further on to that, to build that out, specifically in Outlander, the whole gang, basically we see the whole family and all their kinsmen and all their basically closest associates, as the Highlanders did after the Culloden battle, were shipped off to America in one form or another. And this is told in the story and they end up in North Carolina. And that really brings us on to season four and five. They end up in North Carolina, Fraser's Ridge. Speaking of which, if you're a fan of Outlander and you wanna get some Outlander merch, check out my shop. I've got a few bits and pieces that are relevant. Link is down below. And I'll even put a 10% discount code, it's on the screen now. Enter that into the checkout and you'll have 10% off everything. So this brings us on to Outlander season five. What is gonna happen? How's it gonna go? Well, season four, that is when we saw the Fraser family and all their kinsmen 
actually settle in North Carolina on Bill Fraser's Ridge. Basically, the season started with him kind of deciding were they going to stay in the Americas or were they going to go back to Scotland. And he decided to stay because they were offered land by Governor Tryon. Throughout season four, there was a lot of drama, there was a lot of danger, adventures, journeys, meeting the native people of the land and really kind of finding their way. And I feel like towards the end of season four, basically it was, all right, they're now settled on that land. What comes next? Well, if you look at history, we know what's coming next. We know there is going to be a revolution. We know that America, that we now know as the United States of America, gained its independence in exactly the time that they are filming Outlander season five. So that's what's going to come up, I think. But I don't know. I'll have to check the trailer. And that's exactly what I'm going to do in today's episode of the vlog. Review and react to the Outlander trailer for season five. All right, guys, I'm going to try something that I've never done before for this reaction to this trailer. Because um, I don't really like when I put it on the screen, it's always a bit fiddly and never really works And I know there is a flicker on the screen right now, so it's not perfect But this is the way I'm going to do this reaction to this trailer I'm going to be sitting here in my living room reacting to it um, I'm really excited to see what's here and talk you through it as I go along as I see something exciting Let's do it, let's play it Tense music, tense music Everything's pointing me towards something It's clear so far Craig Nadoon, the stones. Memories. A lot of history in those clips. So far, a lot of history, right? We saw Craig Nadoon, we saw Culloden, um, and all those kind of memories. I think there's going to be some music on this video going forward that I'm going to have to cut out, otherwise YouTube will slap me in the wrist. Morta is back. It is a blessing. He came to me. That's a big house right there. Go That's away. a big settlement, guys. Hold on. That's Governor Tryon I just see right there. Let's just play this. Keep playing this first. Let me wind that back. Farewell. Do not disappoint me. That's a red coat army. Governor Tryon. Telling him not to disappoint him. Coming in February. Wow, okay, that is trouble. Armies, Red Coat Army. Jamie's going to be involved in this, I just know it. It's... I am to keep people safe here. I need to know. Clear out our medical emergency stuff again, obviously. That's really important. Hold on. But I will not stand by and watch my kin killed. Wow. So important, Jamie said. He swore an oath to the crown, but he will not stand by and watch his kin killed. What does that mean? Will he be fighting for the Redcoats or not? Brianna just said if they stop this fight now and it doesn't happen, America will never come to be. Wait, what is this? What is that? That is Jamie, right there, in a Redcoat uniform. So, no matter what he just said, he can't stand by and watch his kinsmen die. He's in a Redcoat. He's in the British Army. Is that how this goes down? Can't believe this. That is not good. Promise me you're coming back. I swear it. Coming back? Where? Don't see what might befall us. Just as you give me your word, I give you mine. Wow. Stand by my hand. Raising an army. Sunday the 16th of February. What can I say? There's a lot to unpackage there. Well, there you go. Outlander season five, the trailer is, is here and it's given us a bit of foresight into what's going on. And you can see the settlements basically have expanded. That's what it looks like. But I think Jamie in particular, his loyalties are gonna be tested in this. What we saw him in a red coat fighting for the British army, which is of course the losing side. We know that the Americans kick out the British. So I very much hope that he joins the resistance movement, he joins the rebellion. Otherwise, you know, it's gonna be deep trouble for him. But on the other hand, he has got land from the British. And if he fights against the British, that'll be taken off him, presumably. So I think we're in for a lot of drama in this season, a lot of blood maybe, more battles, which actually I'm quite enjoyed to see. It'd be good to learn more about the American 
uh, revolution and independence battles because I don't really know that much about it other than watching films like Patriot, which I don't think gives a very accurate description or portrayal rather. Whereas Outlander gives a very, I think, very does a very good job. Outlander of giving you a good overview. Obviously, a lot of fantasy in there, but a good overview of how things played out historically. So that's it. Outlander season five is upon us in five weeks, very, very soon from now. And I just want to encourage all of you guys, if you've not seen Outlander, to check it out. It is a very good show for all the reasons I said at the beginning of this episode. It has kind of changed my life in a lot of ways, my perception of Scotland and its connection with people and countries around the world and how important and significant our wee place is. So, season five, how am I going to review it on my channel? Because a lot of you guys have been expecting that I will be doing a lot of content on it because I've done a lot of content on it in the past. I have written a blog post on my Patreon page and you can find a link for that down below and up above right now, which will explain how I plan to cover Outlander through the seasons coming up. And please go and check that out, read it. Let me know your thoughts, because I'm going to be doing it a wee bit different this year. It's great to be having this dialogue with all of you guys, and thank you so much for watching this episode. Until the next time, I hope you have a good night, morning, evening, afternoon, or whatever time of day it is, wherever you are in the world. Take care.